Let's go. Welcome once, back, everyone. Once more. So no, last no, no, no. time I pushed him. <gasps> yeah. That's another way to kill him is to push him off. <laughs> We're developing the meta. Uh, right? <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a pretty uh, thick boy, right? <laughs> He's not getting pushed off easily, I wouldn't think. You just gotta make him tumble a little. It's not that hard. No, 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 he's been killed. Uh, oh, uh, yep, yep, there we go again. So, how you got any talking points? Yeah, sure, I actually do, Steven. Uh, I could talk a little bit more about some more weird Amazon products that I found from uh, uh, one Mr. Chuck Tingle. So, I just randomly heard a scream in the game? Yep. I don't know what that's about. It wasn't me this time, I actually swear it. One sec. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so I had to go down here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here we go. Dr. Chuck Tingle's adult coloring and activity book for true buckaroos. <laughs> What's a true buckaroo? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. One sec. Do they have, like, a, a description Watch. for what a true buckaroo Watch is on this? Doors, da, 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 that's not what I want. We all know that an active mind keeps a buckaroo healthy and wise. <laughs> Uh, in an effort to keep your butts and brains sharp, I have created this powerful coloring and activity book. I have created, uh, the, please enjoy these pages specifically designed to unlock your creative potential and put a hop on your trot as you navigate this timeline with real buckaroo love. Color this book in a way that's, that is uniquely you, because your way is the most special and important way of all, Steven. Wow, that's, that's really self-helpful. Thank you very much, Chuck Tingle. It almost makes me forget about your other series that I noticed on here, Space Raptor Butt Trilogy. <laughs> if I could. Oh my god, that worked. Okay. Uh, what game are we playing again? Six. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I, think, I think I might have a solution to this whole problem, and it, it involves clones being viable again. <laughs> Steven, Scary Stories to Tingle Your Butt, Seven Tales of Gay Terror by Chuck Tingle. What, what, what's going on here, man? Ah, uh, hold on a second. I had a plan and then it got completely ruined. <laughs> Can he climb things? No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, some of them still seem a tad adamant. Okay, no, 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 we're fine. We're fine. You got it. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Helicopter man pounds dinosaur billionaire ass. <laughs> Is this just, um... Yeah, no, that's just a man with, like, helicopter wings sticking out of his back. I really he, appreciate that. He can climb things. He can climb? Yeah, he, he just climbed Oh, this. he just fucked it all up. Why are you guys coming into my special room? <laughs> oh, boy. There are just two of them. Like, yeah, look at this. Look at this room. D what the fuck, dude? <laughs> but again, the final days of pounding ass by Chuck Tingle. <laughs> that didn't go well. Handsome sentient food pounds my butt and turns me gay. Eight tales of hot food. <laughs> what? So is this man like okay? Uh, I don't know. He's writing. He's writing gay love novels. What's wrong with that, Steve? I ain't, I don't see anything wrong with writing gay love novels. It just how is this man a doctor? <laughs> like <laughs> one sec. Uh da da da. Pounded by politics, nine tales of civic butthole diplomacy, <laughs> and this oh no, oh this no, is oh just no, a oh no. this is just a picture of a giant T Rex. Yeah, this is uh, this is going pretty well. Oh, That's fine. going well. This is fine. This just looks like a giant T Rex in front of an American flag, ripping his shirt off. <laughs> Please, sticks, grab on. <laughs> Steven, you've made that jump twice. Once with a clone, and once with sticks, and neither of them have worked out well. Okay, I think I I think I actually figured out a way to choose this whole uh game. Chuck's Living Object Tinglers. This is a picture of California with a man's face crudely photoshopped on it. <laughs> so I think California itself is going to fuck Chuck Tingle in the ass in this one. So, like, can I fuck Chuck Tingle? I mean, you probably already have, and you just didn't know it yet. Oh, this guy's coming closer. Your boy, your boy um, t Michael, Top yeah. Frito, is playing Dead Cells. That's a pretty good game from what I've seen about it. Uh -huh. It's all access, though, so I'm not going to play it. Yeah, true. I think... I, I kind of feel like early access is a detriment to a lot of games. Yeah. Because... Uh, yeah, okay, so I did some quick math in my head, and I realized... And I made a math, so, like, I just literally could do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> it's fine. At least it's not me making the dumb mistakes for once. Chuck... Chuck's Living Object Tinglers. This is a fidget spinner with a face crudely photoshopped on top of it. Are fidget spinners viable? 
<laughs> oh, dude, that's a good idea. Well, can we make a fidget spinner battle royale game? Okay, so there's three guys down there. One of them's a fucking idiot and, like, separating from the group. Wait, no, there's five. Oh, here we go. Breaking the fourth butt. Eight hot-to-trot meta tinglers. Meta. I, I think so. I think I think he's gonna, like, fuck the book we're reading at some point. In oh, this. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Your arms would be broken off if you did that. <laughs> Chuck Tingle is the voice of a generation, a literary mastermind who has completely changed the way that the world looks at dinosaurs, Bigfoot, unicorn, and living object romance. Now, however, things are about to get meta. In the world of Chuck Tingle, anything can pound you in the butt. From your reaction to the title of this hardcore bundle to this very sentence itself. <laughs> when Chuck takes the reins, no butt is left unpounded. Uh, even the readers breaking through fourth walls. What are the walls. reviews like? Even the readers breaking through fourth walls just as easily as he does anus seals. <laughs> Collected within are eight of Chuck Tingle's greatest reality bending tinglers, including, and then there's a bunch of uh, stuff. And once I, before I read the reviews, I'm going to read a little bit about the author. Dr. Chuck Tingle is an erotic author and, and Taekwondo grandmaster, almost black belt. <laughs> And from Billings, Montana, after receiving his PhD at DeVry University in Holistic Massage, Chuck found himself fascinated by all things sensual, leading to his creation of The Tingler, a story so blissfully erotic that cannot, it cannot be experienced without eliciting a sharp tingle down the spine. Oh, Chuck's hobbies include backpacking checkers and sport. <laughs> Just sport in general. Sport. That's my favorite sport. So this is how much of a laughingstock DeVry was. I can't tell if getting a PhD at DeVry University in holistic massage is a joke or not. <laughs> I suppose that's why he's a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One sec. I'll read these meta reviews. Um, Curtis McConnell says, I bought as a gag after hearing about it during a gaming night, and I couldn't have laughed harder than when I did a circle doing... than when we all did a dramatic circle reading of these stories. Five stars. Samuel, five stars. Unbelievable. Tingles on, customer. Five stars. A good reader can touch you. A great reader can touch you in places and ways you never knew you could be touched. <laughs> but so far, Chuck Tingle... Uh, but so yeah. far, Chuck Tingle is the only author I've ever encountered who has touched me in places that I knew for a fact I do not have. <laughs> this is a once-in-a-generation talent. The, the, the reviews on this are decent, but the thing is, like... They're very niche audiences, so it has a 5 out of 5 review, but only 3 people have reviewed it. Yeah. I, I was trying to get, um, Sean to, like, when he ever wants to do, like, a huge marathon live stream, uh, <laughs> what the fuck, did, did something just go and kill itself there? <laughs> did Sentient Puke just fall 5 stories and die? Come on. <laughs> I want to pull a hilarious spring in this guy. Alright. Hi-yo! Goomba stop! <laughs> you think uh, you got it? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I wanted to get um, I wanted to get uh, Sean on his live stream twitch.tv slash helpless underscore skippy to do uh, uh, like once we eventually end up doing like a marathon live stream because we got to at some point, right? We don't have to, but it's just highly encouraged. <laughs> yeah, fuck you and your live stream bullshit. <laughs> All right, <laughs> right in the booty. Chuck Tingle would have loved that. We're only like eight minutes in for this episode, yeah, dude. Yeah, I know, and, and the exit is literally right there. <laughs> um, it's just there's four guys in the white, and I have like no alternative routes there. It's like I can jump from down there <laughs> in the middle of them, and jump from down there in the middle of them, or I can jump from over here. Whatever, man, you got this. But yeah, basically what I was getting at is I want um, Sean and I to do a long-form reading of some sort. Like, uh, <laughs> would you stop doing that, dude? It doesn't work, <laughs> It, it's working for what? Oh, it's a distraction. I guess. yeah. I thought you actually. I wow, well, all right. That time we didn't I thought you. On. I thought you actually wanted to uh, actually. Uh, to get I, down I, that, that's worth a reset. Okay. Yeah, we lost the frames there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't perform the uh, fucking Gannon skip trick. <laughs> so yeah, basically, um, like the NLSS crew, they spent four hours on a live stream only reading the uh, plot to. Uh, the the transcript of Star Wars Episode Four, I believe, and I was like, Sean, we gotta do that, man. We have to do something like that and lose our minds, <laughs> much like we did in the most previous live stream at oh at point of recording this. <laughs> Golf with your friends where it was the first and, time I was there. And Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, Overwatch is not working on my computer right, that well. well. 
Yeah, but basically we spent like an hour losing our minds playing Overwatch, and then in, and then like an hour and twenty minutes almost, nearly like going to the point of in <laughs> <laughs> going to the point of insanity in uh, golf with your friends. So that was a fun live stream that you can check out on the vods at the t at the helpless Skippy site. <laughs> you know, helpless dot twitch slash Skippy <laughs> dot uh, uh, com. TV, whatever. Uh, Steven, how did you... I I think I, you making the jump the first time was just a fluke. I made it several times after. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Wow, I have not been paying attention. But yeah, that's what I want to do. And basically what <laughs> I want to get at is... I wonder... I, like this. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Sean will, will be on board. Like, if we can contact Dr. Chuck Tingle and either A, uh, get him to uh, let, let us read his stories on a live stream, or even potentially maybe getting him on the live stream. <laughs> the guy didn't even give a shit. But he's, he, that guy is secluded away from other people right now. But I can't land anywhere, because he'll hear me. Like, oh, everyone God. will hear you? Well, no, like, if I land down there, he'll hear, he'll, hear, he'll hear me, he'll turn around, and he'll alert everyone. Okay. Which is kind of a issue, because I wanted to go after him first, but I can't really... But yeah, that's what I wanted to get at. Um, so if Sean watches this, or I'll bring it up to him on another live stream. Sean, let's try to get one of these strange erotic short story authors onto the live stream so we can... Oh, God. <laughs> so we can read some of their erotic short stories with them. If that's something you're on board with. I know I would love to. <laughs> Basically what I'm getting at is, Chuck Tingle, read porn with me. I need I need your erotic fantasy novels. Oh, uh, uh, broken okay. the game. Yeah, people are just like, well, I mean, like, you can't be anywhere nearby, right? That, that, is this like, guy's. Is that guy... is that Sticks Master of Shadows? No, that's a crate. <laughs> oh yeah, right. No, that's one of the torture chambers. <laughs> Good point. Mr. Yeah. Crush and stuff. <laughs> Why do uh, we let the geez. knights name them? I don't know. The scholar, the scholar people didn't care. But again, impounded by. Right, so I got the ultimate high in spot in this area now. Doctor Chuck Tingle's complete guide to the void. Play <laughs> from Final Fantasy five or three. Um, I think he means the item. How to properly use the item in Binding of Isaac. Oh fuck! This isn't completely perfect. They're able to slightly see me. Hugo nominated author Dr. Chuck Tingle is well known for his thoughts on love and romance, but there's another side to this revered modern philosopher that's needed now more than ever. Dispensed with this nonfiction volume is everything that you need to know about the void, a terrifying place outside reality that is constantly overflowing with cosmic horror. Will you know what to do when the void starts leaking into your timeline? Within Dr. Chuck Tingle's Guide to the Void, you'll find multiple strategies for battling the void, as well as survival techniques that could save your life should you ever find yourself lost within the void's infinite grasp of existential dread. <laughs> Most creatures of the void are covered in... are covered in detail, including void crabs, worms, Ted Cobbler, and the man with no eyes and wieners for hair. <laughs> okay, I made it through. A lot of clones had to die for that, but I made it through. <laughs> also, also included in this guidebook is is important information on void-related subjects like reverse twins, Truckman, the lake, and the call of the lonesome train. For anyone interested in the darker planes that lie just outside the Tingleverse, this book is for you. Warning: This book includes mind-bending depictions of existential cosmic horror. Read responsibly and stop immediately if you begin to suffer any symptoms of void madness. I think I need to get this book. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that another time. No, though. you can't see me. I'm invincible. I am Styx, master of not getting spotted by people. This isn't looking good, Steve. They're not hitting Actually, me. Actually, you know what? Yeah, these these throwing they are, these guys are not good at throwing knives at all, are they? Uh -huh. No, I, I don't have time for that. Yeah, true. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, dude. And how does he do it, everybody? <laughs> oh God, it's fine. It's Easy fine. Easy shit. <laughs> the best. All right. So we got like. We got like a minute left of this episode, but that, that was a good uh, that was a good escape route when I was I'm talking about. The you didn't void. see me uh, on the break came through, right? I did not see the very beginning of I it. I pretty much just had to throw out three clones and have them all slowly like move farther and farther away. I I, I was assuming like you puked out one way and had them go away from the exit to like draw the people's yeah, attention. Yeah, I, I had to do that like two or three times right. because the people, the sharpshooters, did not want it. Oh, hey, look, it's the tree veins. All right, uh, this is a good spot to end the episode. Or as people will call them fruits. <laughs> Uh, look, at the, look at all that tree blood, or as uh, commoners would call it, mm, water. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? I can't disagree with the commoners. I don't know, I just think it's a funny voice. Towards the high security second. Yeah, okay. Alright, yep, we will we will get right on that in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Dr. Chuck Tingle, for supplying the uh, content for this episode, and goodbye. <laughs> they just turned around, what the fuck? Was that is, Was that the guy who was, call, who was killing everyone? Was that the Master of Shadows? Yeah. Is he now a shadow? Yeah, did he just, did he just kill Or did him? he go to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo? Man, you finally just like called up the foreman, it's like, I need sticks! He, he just fell three stories and died. Like, don't worry. We're fine. I want pictures of him. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, J. Jonas Jameson, for showing up at the end of this episode for the last <laughs> few seconds.